Well, all right, ladies and gentlemen. How are you all? Simulation 4 Nation here. Hope you're doing very well. Welcome to Attenham Park. And today, we're starting a new series on console here. This is a bit of an abrupt ending from Thornton, but the that was receiving a lot of requests to move over. Uh, and it seems like a lot of the interest had, unfortunately, but wavered on Thornton. So here we are. We're on Attenham. We're going to try and keep our, our series interesting and fun and uh, switching them around a little bit here on console. So... We are setting up our Massey farm today. And yeah, we are. I'm going to show you around what we have so far. It's nearly all Massey. To be honest, you'll find you, if you weren't in the live stream already, you'll soon recognize the inspiration behind this for the most part. Uh, trying to recreate a bit of a similar setup to a, a fairly well established uh, YouTube channel. And I think it works quite well so far. Um, we'll have a look into it today. I've just got the Manitou here and I'm bringing back this little uh, water Bowser, which we're going to just swing into the back. Uh, and drop off here we're gonna get some animals going probably in the next live stream so just want to make sure that we're kind of all ready for that one ready for the cows to come in hopefully sooner rather than later uh so yeah we're kind of following four winds farm really so we've got some yellow grain trailers there we our tractors are all massy for the most part we're gonna get some cattle into there we're working as i just bring up the the hub here we're working ourselves out of the farm at the south here. So we've got a little bit of land already. Some of which has already been drilled up, ready to go. Uh, three fields have. We've still got a few fields that we can get cracking along with as well there. Uh, and we've got a fair bit of grass as well. Now, I'm not sure if we're going to keep all of that as grass. There's a lot of grass there. Now, obviously, as we're on console, we do hit a, a bale limit. Uh, so it kind of really restricts how many uh, bales we can have lying around here. As you may know from other series, I do like to have a lot of bale stacks going. Uh, but let's have a look into here. We've got our New Holland Combine. Uh, this is our 7, 7, 790, beg your pardon there, with a 7 meter header on there. Uh, we've got, this is the biggest tractor we have, the 7726, uh, to pull our 3 meter combination, or 6 meter combination covalent. Uh, over here we've got a couple of, a massy shed really, we've got a, a 2 wheel drive 265. We've got this beautiful 1200 here, we went for the turbo. Look at that straight pipe on it, incredible, that's the turbo 1250. We've got a 5470 and a 5480 as well. Now... I know AMG is currently working on a few different things and eventually he's going to get to the 64 series at which point these might get swapped out because I'd love to get the 6400 series. Uh, but yeah, they're beautiful tractors anyway. Uh, plenty of power in those for what we need. And then we've got a few other little bigger horses over here. We've got a 76, 1, 4 and a 66, 16. I got those completely wrong. A 76, 18 and a 66, 1, 4. So enough power there for some of the bigger rigs as well. Uh, we've got a couple of sets of harrows on the back. We've been working over a lot of our ground, so... Uh, we've got some of this ready to go. But you'll notice that you're probably going to be asking, Sim, there's an awful lot of tractors here. And why is that the question, the case? Well, as we meander on over to turn off the light, which I inevitably left on, uh, because that is something I like to do a lot. This series is something that will be getting in the help of anyone who is playing Farm Sim on Xbox. Uh, so you will be able to join us in live streams when we're on there, or you'll also be able to join uh, occasionally when I'm going to be doing some uh, recording for this as well. Uh, so we've got plenty of tractors. You can get up to, I think it's six people on an Xbox uh, local server. Now you can only, unfortunately you can't get a daddy server for consoles right now there. So it will be local only. So we'll get your help when we're doing this. Just have a bit of fun. Uh, we've got a few of the bits of equipment in here. We've got a round bailer. We need to get a Mikhail bale wrapper. We've got a Cavernal mower because there aren't any John Deere mowers of uh, trailed nature uh, that we could get. And then we've got a tether and we've got our rake. So that should get us going. There should be plenty there. Uh, and like I say, at some point over the next day or two there, we will look to start to get the cattle all sorted out, get them in. I think we'll do... I'm in the mind to do beef, but we might do dairy just to, to see. But we'll we'll have a look at what that looks like, of course. Uh, and yeah, everything else is looking good. But for the moment, all we can really do is a little bit more preparation work, really. Let's creep up here. We've got most of the... We'll come on to here and we're going to come across... You see, we've got most of our fields tested. <clears throat> we've got another five left to do. So we might just take the sample around and do fields 32 and 31, which I believe I think we can get to from up here. They're a little bit tricky to get into some of these fields, which are kind of neat. I love the shape of some of them. 33 has got a wicked shape to it. It really does. So we can probably get the rest of that field finished. Uh, and then as you can see, if we... Uh, if I move on up there, nitrogen-wise, they're all looking pretty terrible. Uh, some of the grass fields will need a lot on there before they start to grow, so we need to get that done. Uh, and then we also need to field 37's being drilled as well. Uh, so as we cut across here, field 37, field 30, and 29 have been drilled. So we've got a lot of drilling done. We've got 40 left to go. 
Uh, and of course, field 33 as well. And like I say, I might end up plowing in another one. Uh, perhaps 35, just to keep that cluster all together. But yeah, it's pretty good. We're going to get on to field 36 today. Which is a nice kind of little, little triangular field right next to the farm there. Cute little thing. Uh, but yeah, so we've got lots to do. I think what we'll do first off, some idiot being myself, park this in the way. And I need to get to the soil sampler there. So we'll just jump in and shift this one over. So yeah, all Massies. I think this is actually the first time I've gone all Massies in a long time, which is kind of neat. Uh, so yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, seeing how this rolls out there. We had the first stream on this map on uh, over the weekend gone, and that went pretty well. So it's nice to be able to get that all up and working and get some, have some success there. Let's stop you there. Lovely to see all the Massies in town. Now, if you want to join in, uh, I know you'll be thinking that if you're on console, that that's going to be one of the first questions. Let's use this old girl, shall we? A uh, couple of things you need to do. So you need my gamertag, which is SFTN, all up, guys. Hashtag 4672. You're going to need that to join on in, and uh, you'll need to add me to your, your friends on the uh, Xbox Game Pass, the Xbox uh, server there. And then uh, what we'll need to be doing as well is... Check out the links in the description down below. I'll have my Facebook page there. That's where I'll be sending out communication around when and how you can join and when we'll be recording on here and when the live streams will be happening. Uh, so that's going to be the best way to go. So make sure you click on the link down below. Make sure you also join us on... Uh, uh, invite me as a friend onto Xbox and then we're all good. We'll get you on there as soon as we're ready to go. Now, am I going up this way to get into that field or do I need to go around and about? around and about i think so that little field there is what we're going to be drilling later on today i'll uh, probably put that into a little bit of barley uh what i hope to do over the next uh, kind of week or so is uh have this field these uh greenhouses all up and working i need to look into what that uh requires i need to get a silo in here where we can actually get some uh, muck we will be needing that for those to get the best out of them so we'll get those function there we'll get some cattle in as well so the farm can start making a bit of money now we're doing okay for money we bought a lot of land we bought most of the machinery that we need we still need a few little bits here and there but we're doing okay uh, so we'll see how that goes but yeah we're doing all right i want to keep a little bit of money so we have a cushion there so we can always uh we'll never be short uh okay so if i am right in thinking there you go Doesn't quite seem to have uh, to load properly, but never mind. We'll work with it. Okay, so I had, uh, I think it was led by Ben who was on here doing the soil sampling first. Got a lot done so far, which has been great. Uh, yeah, and we'll be able to get this all done. So, like I say, I want to kind of bring a little bit of, a uh, little bit of love to Xbox because it's, you know, a lot of, a lot of creators stick with PC as soon as they're able to get over there. And, you know, there's a lot of good reasons for that, but yeah, I'll, I'm really enjoying Farm Simon console so far, and I'm really looking forward to see what 22 brings along for the ride there. Uh, and Athenham Park, either console or PC, is a phenomenal map at the moment. It looks fantastic. It really does. It really is a joy to be on here at the moment. And this is, of course, GB Modern's uh, work. And really astounding. He's... Six Ashes was a phenomenal map. Many of you will know I'm still on there uh, with my Saving Grand as Farm series. More news about that one later on in the week there. But yeah, it's this is just really good fun to be on. Really good fun to have a play around with as well. Feels uh, feels like a very good map. Love the shape of this Field 33, for example. It's just brilliant. Now, my question would be... I need to find out how I'm going to get into those two fields. It could be fun. Let's just kind of go over there. We'll do this in two stages. One. Okay.
I'm not worried why I got the old 265 here. It's a nice little tractor. I'm sure I'll find plenty of little yard errands to do with it, especially once we get the cattle in and we get the uh, the greenhouses up and working there, so they'll need a bit more attention. No doubt. Uh, so we don't go in over this way. If I zoom out, go see a gate over there. It must be one. Has to be one. Okay, so that's what we're going to aim for. I think that'll make sense for us then uh, that we keep uh, fields 32, 31, and 34 as grass because they're all nicely connected together. I think that will work out well. And then the re the big field 35 will get that turned in. 41 is also grass, so we'll probably plow that one in first actually because that's even further away. We build a grass line close to home. Yeah, again, really love the, the Google Map PDA. The beautiful little uh, tech, uh, touch there really does add to the, the realism of it all. Very, very nice indeed. So let me know your thoughts down below if you are on console or PC on Athenham Park. Let me know what you think of it. Uh, have you started on the same yard as me? Are you using the yard by the main store? Which would have been great and nice and handy for setting everything up. A lot of driving backwards and forwards with equipment, that's for sure. Got a light on here? Yes. Look forward to not turning that one off shortly. Okay, so we'll just scoot around the back of our rather large farmhouse there. Go us. Is that one the one I want? E yes? Question mark. We'll make it work. All right, and then this field has a little path through to the arrow fields over there, which we will really need to get working on. I really, at some point, I really want to get that 1250 onto the plow and get plowing with that. I think that'd be great. Uh, what I'll probably have to do is get another plow here as well, just so it speeds it up really, but we have a couple of people on the go. And now there must be a gateway in the corner through this field here, and that's what I'm banking on, and that's what we're going to go and find. Full speed, flat to the mat, we'll get there. Oh, I see where it would have been. There's a road all over the side here. That'll do it. There's an actual road. Oh, well, stand by. We'll be back in a minute. There you go. Like I never missed it at all. Perfect. All right, so we'll get this one done. It looks like this is nearly going to be ready. Actually, we're going to probably get a try and get a first cut of silage off here sooner rather than later. That'd be pretty nifty if we can. I would say. Okie dokie. All right, so I'm going to get this field all done, 32. We'll probably leave the tester here so we can continue in the next uh, live stream, I would imagine. Uh, and then let's get out the big gun. We'll pull out the, the, the most powerful tractor we have here and we'll set about that small little triangular field and get some barley drilled, I think. Well, all right, folks, we have got all the field 33 done. 32 done, beg your pardon. Now the soil samples have been sent away for analysis, which is great, and we're going to leave them to it. Now, the eagle eyed amongst you will notice that it is currently about one degree lower than it should be for barley. However, uh, we're still pretty confident that we'll get a good level of germination here. So we're just going to get after it anyway. When I'm always in my first game save, or the first year of the uh, game save, I do like to try and push through these spring drilled crops a little earlier before the end of day three. Main reason for that is assuming that it's not too, too cold is that I want to be able to get those harvested that bit faster in the summer uh, or even in the early stages of autumn. Uh, so when if the weather's not great there, it's not going to affect us too much. So that's why we kind of push ahead. Now I've got 21% seed. We'll get a little bit of a, a refill here. Uh, so that's what we're going to go with here. We've got oilseed rape and winter or spring wheat in two, three of the other fields. Uh, two fields of OSR and one field of wheat. So we'll look to get this uh, this one taken care of. There you go. Okay. 
Looks like we're full there. We've got oats in there now. We don't want oats anymore. Let's, uh... A little bit of spring barley in the ground. Now, the great thing about this map is they have replaced the slightly unrealistic uh, or crop types for the UK. So, sugarcane uh, being one of them and cotton with uh, onions and carrots, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, we're not going to use those just yet. We don't have the equipment to do so. So, what we will do is just continue with barley anyway. Uh, what we'll be doing, because we have a bit of a bale limit here, as we harvest fields, we will be bailing them up. Obviously, excluding uh, our oil seed rate. But we'll get those all bailed up there, and then we can look to sell the straw off nice and quickly. Or well, certainly that's the plan. Now I'm going to get rid of that again. Bit of an odd shaped field. Uh, a little bit of a triangular field there, which is not the worst. But what we will do is probably... Probably just run down that far side as our straight edge here, I reckon. That'll all to do the job, so we'll get tucked right into that corner. Uh, where we should be good. It's pretty awesome that this here, Massey can pull this big lump in six meter drill from the Cavalian DLC, but it sure does. Alright, and we're spraying with drilling barley. And a surge in nine miles an hour. Look at us go. Love to see that. And that will be four fields done. We will, like I say, in the next live stream there, uh, if you are able to help us out, we'll be jumping on to sort out the greenhouses, to sort out the animals, to get field 41 plowed over, and to get that drilled up as well as field 40. And then also tack off 33. So there'll be lots to do and lots of fertilizers to get put down as well in accordance to the uh, the field map in there for the precision farming because that's all all needs to be done, really. All needs to be done. Just wish we had some ridge markers on this drill. That would be sweet. Okay, and off we go. So coming up for the rest of the week here, this video was later. I do apologize coming out on Thursday rather than Wednesday, but we will be coming out with a few other bits and pieces this week. Some FS22 news and updates. Actually, Fridays are around the corner. Uh, we'll be bringing you a whole load of news with regards to Six Ashes and Saving Granddad's Farm. And then also a video of the Dairyman's Diary on Sunday as well there. So I hope you do enjoy all, all of those. And we'll get to see those as soon as we can. But for right now, we're just going to keep ticking along in our beautiful Massey. Although we're going to be in a right little wedge of a field. So let's just kind of block out this corner already if we can. No tram lines here yet. We don't use... I think there is a tram line maker for console, but apparently it's not too good. Uh, and obviously we don't have proceeds, so we're not using that here right now. But we'll, we'll do our best to persevere without... Alrighty, and off we go. So until next time, folks, I do hope you have enjoyed. Like I say, check out the links down below in the description if you want to join us here on the farm. Uh, and if you... And we'll get you on there as soon as we can. Whenever we're going live, you'll find out on the Facebook page when that will be and what that will look like. But until next time, folks, I hope you have enjoyed. I'll see you later on. I've been Simulation for the Nation. We'll see you all in the next one.